Behold, Hunter. This is my ultimate attack. No one oh, it can tickled. Su survive. T tickled a little bit. Uh, what? There, I right. did you did you put your all into that one, buddy? I mean, it's pretty sad. Oh yes, my fellow hunters, it's time. Time for the perfected, final, ultimate version of the single best build in Rise. The build that makes you a god. That makes every monster nothing before you. The build that makes you immortal! And now it truly is the magnum opus. The hardest thing to do in this build is cut. You have to really try to make that happen. Falstrax has infused this not just with even more immortality on top of the previous immortality, but also one hell of an offensive injection of skills, meaning that kill times while being completely unkillable are getting faster and faster and faster. It took me like four minutes to kill Apex Mizutsune. It took me like five minutes to kill Apex Zenoga with this. You never have to sheaf. You never have to stop attacking. You never have to worry about any given attack. You never have to dodge. You just hit the monster. And it's very satisfying. But don't take my word for it. Here's five minutes against Apex Zenoga AFK. <laughs> He might end up in a bush, but Apex and Ogre ends up bored and he leaves to another zone. Is that not truly fantastic? But as you're seeing with the triple Apex Infernal Springs, the hardest hunt in the game, well, it can compete in every situation you would want it to offensively as well. So without further ado then, let's actually go to the build. Camellios Greatsword getting an upgrade is fantastic here, though you don't have to use a Greatsword for this build, it is the optimum weapon to use it with, simply because of Adamant Charge Slash and Rage Slash, because Greatsword has the innate natural ability to be immune to knockback and then pump out damage based on being hit, well it is a marriage made in immortal heaven, and it truly is kinda broken. Other weapons without consistent power armor based attack do have to deal with being knocked around the place if you're going to ignore being hit, which is kind of the whole point here. Though that said, Camellios is always the best choice because one, when you have a set with low damage, poison is a really good chunk of it, and it has a level 2 and 2 level 1 slots, and number of slots is key here. This is a slot hungry build. Feed me decorations. <laughs> doing what where did i say here ago you know what this sentence needs punctuating with the, the build talking seductively about deck the, the so back to the build proper then as you can see we have our core four skills defense boost divine blessing recovery up and recovery speed they are what makes this tick they are the engine the engine full of fuel that is kushala's blessing for permanent healing even when you don't have red health healing that is affected by a recovery up so the speed powers through the red health and then the kushala blessing takes over and starts that's just healing you enhanced by recovery up. The recovery up also makes your two little healer helpers that we'll get to heal you for even more. After that then, stun resistance is a requirement for at least the greatsword use of this, otherwise you will be stunned during rage slash constantly and that's just really annoying and makes the monsters die much much slower. If you're using this with a weapon that doesn't need the stun resistance, well then just finish defense boost as an alternative. Outside of that then, we of course are using two bits of Valstrax along with the required three Kushala. Firstly, that works excellently because they are the highest armor pieces in the game and the most armor we uh, can get is always good. This thing sits at about 560 defense, which to put into perspective against the single most powerful attack currently in game. <laughs> Yay, 
yeah, like that's that's not bad, is it? That's about divine blessing happening. That's about being sub 50% health, which actually does mean that you take even less damage because you have the Valstrax Dragon Resistance activated, which brings me to the second point of his two-piece being here, is that, yeah, under half health, you have 50 element resistance in every element, which essentially reads you're immune to elemental attacks. On top of that defense, under half health, you're, like, Double immortal? Super immortal? In any case, it's a perfect combination of Elder Dragon gear. Then past that, we have a nice little bonus smattering of skills. We have a couple handicraft, which is very convenient, as it takes the Camellios to white, which is a, a decent damage bump, a little bit of weakness exploit, a little bit of agitator, and then the resuscitate under 50%. It, honestly, considering we've gone all in defensive, actually has quite uh, the uh, powerful backbone. Talisman-wise, you just need one that gives you as many skills skills through the skills on the talisman and the slots that this set needs that the armor pieces don't provide. So a hefty divine blessing or defense or recovery up talisman is pretty good. Minus two recovery up and two two slots so that gives me plus four which is fairly nice for this but you can easily get better because most of these skills are quite low tier common ish skills. So this all comes together to again just make you essentially unkillable. You just do not need to stop attacking. You do not need to drink potions, you do not need to worry or care about anything the monster is doing, all you need to do is place your weapon inside of it. Over and over again. Though you do need to be supported by two of your finest healing palicos. So what these guys will do is, well, I mean, I just said, really, it's it's healing. The health horn is essentially a full heal, thanks to the recovery up every three to five minutes. That's nice. And then the pair of them having the healing bubble and the hibiscus healing means that while you're fighting, you can just kind of shuffle near them, hit them as well as the monster collaterally, and add more healing. Basically, the palicos are there to give you little healing nodes that you can smack while fighting to just give yourself little injections of healing as you need them, and that's a really fun way to play. The power drum giving you more defense, which is obviously more immortal, and a bit more attack, which is, again, very nice, and then the fourth slot is basically up to you. I've just got Shock Prison and Tripper. In any case, then, between these two palicos and this set, you just become an unstoppable Unstoppable wall of destruction that just face smashes no thinking through a monster not caring about anything that it does as it tries desperately to flail around and kill you. Now I managed to do the triple apex quest in the infernal springs in 23 minutes with this set which is obviously slow-ish. I mean for three apex monsters it's not bad Chiefly, it was chasing bloody Apex Rathalos around forever! The Mizutsune and the Apex Anoga collectively were sub-10 minutes. The Rathalos was- Oh! But that's all good. I'm just not very practiced on Apex Rathalos at the moment. The fun here is two parts. One, not being killable. Obviously, that's pretty cool in Monster Hunter. Never, ever cart. And number two, the fact that you just permanently are attacking constantly and always, and that is thoroughly enjoyable in of itself as well. So, uh, there you have it, guys. That is your updated ultimate immortal build for your AFK never die needs, and for your actual easy mode any single hunt ever needs too. Like you've enjoyed this, let me know what you think, subscribe for more, and I will see you soon. Please consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below. A good boy. <laughs> Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye